My name is Abjata Khalif. I'm a peace activist, community worker, community advocate, and also an activist building community capacity in ensuring illicit transfer of weapons from various states, various lawless borders, is moved to conflict zone and is also used in conflict prone areas like northern Kenya, which borders lawless Somalia. The region registered many challenges, including insecurity, climate change problem, and the insecurity is caused by flow of arms from various directions into some part of northern Kenya. And the arm is used to instigate in the clan bath, uh, highway attacks. And by doing all that, it affects cohesion, it affects socio-economic activity of the region, it uh, contributes to closure of schools, closure of trade, closure of market, and apart from that, it contributes to human rights violations like conflict rape, gang rape, and maiming of women who cannot run away from the armed attackers. Apart from that, it contributes to ethnic cleansing, whereby a certain group use the same illicit arm in targeting another warring clan, and by doing so, it will create a circle of armed violence, whereby the other clan will go and search for more arms, come back, attack the other clan which attacked them in a repressor attack or a revenge attack. And by doing so, many people are killed, which contribute also to mass displacement and uh, villages touched down. And by doing all that, it contributes to a worse humanitarian catastrophe or humanitarian bedlam. So by doing so, I've joined hand with various like-minded activists, women leaders, human rights activists, and others in engaging like-minded institution, like government institution, non-government organization, and others in ensuring the voices of the of victim of armed violence is captured, is amplified through all the channel of the Kenyan national government and to other governments through United Nations in ensuring that arms trade treaty is adopted, ratified and implemented in each country to ensure arms does not fall into hand of terrorists, arm does not fall into arm of in the clan militia, arm does not fall into hand of in the clan warlords. So apart from that, what I have been doing is to build capacity of people on the ground to work with them because Northern Kenya is registered as an inter-clan bloodbath caused by flow of illicit arms. And apart from that, also the same region has witnessed large-scale massacres, like the famous Wagala massacre, which happened in Wajia, whereby estimated 3,000 people were killed. They were forced into an open field. In neighboring Mandera County, the Kamari massacre occurred there, whereby thousands of people were killed. In Gareza County, there is Burakartasi massacre, which happened. Thousands of people were killed. And in all this massacre, the thing that fueled or was used was weapon. So that one broadened our resolve, our vision, our mission in ensuring that we address the illicit transfer of weapon and the misuse of weapons in causing all those humanitarian problems. So by doing so, I've joined hand with others in promoting peace, cohesion, and community dialogue. And apart from that, also working with other international organizations and community in achieving what is called international solidarity in addressing the illicit transfer or procurement or sourcing of illicit arm from black markets and other countries which has no regard for rule of law. And by doing so, many countries in the world, including Ireland, has worked very well in building and promoting peace, especially in the Middle East and some other African country. And we cherish other countries, follow the suit, follow what Ireland has been doing in many years. But again, 
It is quite astonishing to hear that Ireland intend to establish an arm industry or to go into an arm industry business. And that one, it will be a great setback to the peace they have been building, peace they have been promoting, and the cohesive society that is existing right now due to their support in promoting peace building. My message, which reflects wishes of thousands and millions of peace activists, peace workers, community workers, and victims of armed violence in Africa, in Kenya, in northern Kenya, is to urge European countries, especially Ireland, to rescind its decision of going into arms export business and starting arms industry in Ireland. Those arms will end up in Africa. Africa does not produce arms, but arms is used in Africa through illicit means to create large-scale violence, humanitarian catastrophe, ethnic cleansing, conflict rape, mass displacement, and many other problems. So, if that one happens, there's possibility of the arms that will be produced by Irish arm industry in contributing to all those problems. We must work. We must try to build international solidarity in ensuring Ireland does not start or goes into arms business and moving away from promoting peace building and everything. I wish you fruitful discussion and in future I hope we will focus and build a bigger solidarity and international solidarity in addressing that problem. Thank you very much.